I love compact travel tripods because I always want to have the least amount of camera gear with me when I'm out shooting on the field. Now I've reviewed a lot of compact travel tripods on this channel and today I have a new one for you to consider. This is the Hapi 3-in-1 tripod, a high-end $399 Arca Swiss carbon fiber tripod that promises to be the lightest and most compact 3-in-1 travel tripod. HP not only sent this tripod out for me to test, but they're also sponsoring this video. But with that said, this tripod has two unique features that I've never seen on another tripod before. So that's why I thought it was worth sharing with you all. By the way, if you're wondering, the name HP refers to a Chinese name for a black-faced spoonbill bird. Let me start off by telling you about the first unique feature, which is the fact that this is a 3-in-1 tripod. The Hapi tripod consists of a ball head, a main tripod, and a smaller sub-tripod that stores neatly inside of the larger tripod. When it's stored, it's a seamless tripod that can be used as is, and the sub-tripod can be pulled out any time to be used separately. I absolutely love this feature because I don't always need a fully fleshed out tripod, so it's really nice to be able to pull out this sub-tripod whenever I have less space to set up or if I don't want to draw much attention to myself. The sub-tripod is also pretty lightweight, and while its legs can't get any taller, it's still tall enough for use as a handheld mount or placed on another object, like a table or a tree stump. As an added bonus, the sub-tripod can also help the main tripod get taller. And because there are three tripod legs supporting the middle column, rather than just a single column, it's more stable than most other tripods that have this extension feature. With its legs fully extended, the main tripod reaches a maximum height of 50 inches, or 126 centimeters. But the sub-tripod can boost it up to 59 inches, or 150 centimeters. Now some of you might find this to be a bit short, but honestly that's the cost of using a travel tripod. Most of them don't get terribly tall. Now the sub tripod can also be inverted into the main tripod for ultra low angle shooting. Before I tell you about the tripod's other unique feature, let's deep dive into more specs. So when it's fully assembled just like this, the tripod is pretty compact. It folds down to 17 and a half inches or 44 and a half centimeters with a pack diameter of 2.7 inches or 6.9 centimeters. It's a bit heavier than it looks weighing in at 1.35 kilos or three pounds, but in my opinion, the weight is excusable because number one, there's a sub tripod inside. So the weight is actually for two tripods. And also it's a largely metal tripod with the exception of the carbon fiber legs. So this means that it has a really solid build quality. It can also support up to 55 pounds or 25 kilos, so you can put your biggest and heaviest telephoto lenses on it. There's also a lanyard on the bottom center column for adding a counterweight whenever you need extra stability or a place to rest your camera bag. I take advantage of this feature quite a bit, especially when I'm shooting outdoors, which is quite a bit. The tripod legs have a flip lock leg design, which I definitely prefer to twist lock legs because they're much faster to deploy. Also, the rubber feet bases can be unscrewed to reveal included spiked feet that you can use whenever you need extra stability on variable terrain like sand, dirt, or ice. The tripod comes with a set of Allen keys that you can use to adjust various parts of the tripod. And while the tools don't store within the tripod, the included zippered tripod bag does have a small internal pocket where the tools can be stored. And now for the final unique feature of this tripod. It's part of the ball head, which is included with the tripod. You can remove it and replace it with your own ball head if you like, but I actually think that the ball head is one of the best parts of this tripod. For one, the included ball head is Arca Swiss compatible. It's not a proprietary tripod plate. The tripod plate locking mechanism is also a quick release twist lock which does take some getting used to if you're used to a screw lock or a flip lock, but it feels really secure once you get everything dialed in. The ball head also has a built-in bubble level and it supports 360 degree panning with tactile clicks every 10 degrees. You can also mute the clicks if you're shooting video. It's also very easy to drop this ball head into portrait mode at any time to shoot vertical content. Finally, this is the unique feature that I've been teasing. The ball head includes a smartphone bracket that is integrated into the ball head and retractable. This is the number one reason why I've been using this tripod a lot lately. 
As much as I love shooting on my other cameras, I almost always grab behind the scenes content or B-roll with my iPhone. And I always forget to bring my iPhone tripod adapter with me. When I'm using this tripod, I don't need my own adapter because I've already got it built into the ball head. So I just love that it's built in, not a separate piece that I could drop or lose. And it's a surprisingly solid bracket that is wide enough to fit my iPhone 15 Pro, and reportedly it also fits the iPhone 15 Pro Max if you have a slightly bigger phone as well. So in conclusion, overall the HP tripod is one of the most innovative tripods I've seen on the market because of its unique 3-in-1 usage and the built-in phone mount into the ball head. I love both of these features, and they're really the main reason why this has been my go-to travel tripod as of late. It was even featured in my latest What's In My Camera Bag episode. But I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments below. What do you guys think of this tripod? Would you try it out or do you have another go-to tripod on your list? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.